Hey guys, this is Steve. Um, heading to New Jersey today. A little bit of a, we had a, a little problem. I was supposed to take a truck yesterday. Now this is how life is, okay? Now, you can make mistakes in life, okay? So I'm going to make this video about mistakes made in life. And this is one of them I'm going to learn the hard way, but you know what? It actually is going to teach me something better. Just like in our lives, we make mistakes and we beat ourselves up because of it. But in fact, when we make a mistake, do we learn from it or do we continue to do it? Now, point in question was, yesterday, I was driving a truck to go to Virginia. And on destination, about three quarters of the way through, my dispatcher called, and he had some information for me. I said, hey, what's the problem? What's going on? He says, you picked up the wrong truck. I said, I what? He says, you picked up the wrong truck. If you have a look at your paperwork and you didn't look at it, it's actually going to Edison, New Jersey. I said, are you kidding me? Now, what happened was, number one, it's dark when I, when I picked these things up, so I really didn't see uh, and look at my paperwork, but the number corresponded to the unit that I was picking up by the last three digits. Now, not looking properly, one thing that I did notice was it was going to a different assigned um, drop-off point, but that really didn't click to me either. So instead of going to a Penske dealer, it was actually going to a Ryder dealer in Edison, New Jersey. Well, I just spent four hours driving to Virginia with the wrong truck. The wrong truck, mind you, for four hours. So when I get there, I have to tell my chase driver that I made a mistake. And I apologize for it. And she's followed me all the way to Virginia and then she usually picks me up and sends me back home. She's gone there for a waste of her time. Completely waste of her time. And I feel really bad for I really do. So, the lesson learned here is we can make mistakes, but we don't beat ourselves up on it, but we rectify the problem. Now, being an independent contractor, this is going to cost me money out of my pocket. Okay? Number one, the destination where it wasn't going to, they're not going to pay me for the fuel of getting there and now, having to take the truck back and leave it at my house of residence to deliver now what I'm doing right now, this morning, to go to Edison, New Jersey. So now, out of my own pocket and in my own stupidity, I now have to pay the fuel for this truck, which is almost $120 in fuel to get it back. Um, I will get reimbursed for the fuel to go in New Jersey because it's a new contract, a new, um, new job. So there's one good consolidation on that is that I continue to drive this truck to where it's supposed to go. So now I've got to take it to where it's supposed to go in the first place. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. But what I want to talk about this is lessons learned and how do you, do you rectify the situation. So, right now I'm out of pocket, $120, okay? I'm going to lose almost $200 for doing the job. So I'm almost now $320 out of pocket. Plus my chase driver will not make anything on this, on this run. And it was my fault. It was totally my fault. So what I am going to do to rectify the problem because it was totally my fault, is I'm going to put out of my own pocket 
the money that she would have made on the trip. Because I feel that is the right thing to do. See, she didn't make the mistake, I did it. It was completely my fault. Completely stupid part that I did, that I did not. I guess I was just unaware of my situation at the time. I wasn't thinking properly. I saw the truck, I saw the three numbers at the end of it, the correspondence to the truck I picked up, and I took it. I actually took the wrong paperwork. This is what the problem was, which had the same number, the last three digits for this truck, which this truck was not supposed to go to Virginia. It was supposed to go to Edison, New Jersey, and that's why I'm taking it right now. But when you make a mistake, and this is what my, my video is going to be about right now, about making mistakes. How do you rectify the problem? You've got to get it right. You've got to get it right. So even if it costs you a lot of money, you've got to get it right. Because money isn't everything, okay? Yes, I'm going to get burnt on this. I'm probably going to lose close on $400 for the day. But you know what? It was my own stupidity and my own fault. And I can't blame anybody else but myself. Because of now the consequence of my choices and my wrong actions is going to cost me. But that's okay. I want to rectify this problem with my other driver and I will pay them what they didn't get. That's what I do in my business. I pay people with my profit. I don't care as long as you do the right thing. And, and this is relating to my business. If you do the right thing, I'm going to pay you. Just like I'm paying this uh, person that is my chase driver that made nothing on this trip. I'm now going to pay them $300 plus I'm going to be almost $320 out of pocket. I'm going to lose $620 on this day. But you know what? That's okay because I rectified the problem. In your life, are you prepared to rectify the problem? Are you prepared to realize that sometimes it costs you money to rectify a problem. And this is not going to be a cheap one. This is a this is a good half of my wages or three quarters of my wages for the week. Okay? A good week that'd be half my wages. But lesson learned. I'm gonna look at it as three days I've lost. Three days of wages I've lost because of stupidity. But I can get it back. This is the thing, it's all in money. No one got hurt, there was no problems with any safety concerns, thank God for that. It didn't break down, it was nothing to do with that, it was to do with an error margin made by my, myself, which I have to, to repair and rectify. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, don't beat yourself up because of problems. This is what this video is now going to say. Learn by your mistakes and try not to do them again. This is going to now teach me to look at my paperwork, to look at my unit number more vigilantly and see that I don't make the same mistake again. And believe me, this mistake will not be made because of a bad choice. Now, the app itself should have told me the right unit, but it didn't. But I'm not going to justify that because the app was wrong. But they did have a problem with the app that it's supposed to tell me if I picked up the right unit or not, and it didn't do that. But anyway, the video is about this. The video is about how I will rectify a problem if you work for me. I rectify problems. I will give back free money if I've done the wrong thing. This is the thing. I'm a legitimate person, I'm a hard worker, and I, I make my money hard sometimes, I really do. I work long hours to get it. On my online business, it, it doesn't do well sometimes, so I have to do this as a, as a, as a back, um, something on the side to rectify it. Okay, Steve Donahoe, I hope this, um, it's taught me a lesson, and I hope it teaches you a lesson in life as well. All right? God bless, guys. Bye.